I saw you wearing these last night. They're gorgeous. They have a lot of sentimental value, too. Yeah, hold them, gave them to me. Okay, yeah, I'll ask Bill Harper and see if he finds the, the mate okay. while we're cleaning up. Looks Thank like you. you got your work cut out for oh, you. Oh, man, oh, tell God. me about it. We gotta be ready by lunchtime because it's the big opening today. That was an amazing wedding, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it really <laughs> was. It was unusual. And it, I don't know, it's romantic. I want something a little more traditional, though. Yeah, we're gonna have something a little more traditional. Good. Oh, listen, Andy's starting here today, isn't he? Oh, I don't... Well, I don't really know. Andy's been uh, more full of surprises than Kirk and Ellie's wedding. I'll check on that earring for you. Thank you. Boy, at the mention of Andy, big wall went up. Yeah. Well, they're having some problems. She is so in love with them that if the problem comes up, she just she can't even see straight. <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> Do you still want an old-fashioned wedding? I don't care what kind of wedding we have, as long as the end result is the same. You and I are together. <laughs> Caleb, more coffee? Yeah, I do. Uh, 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 no, no work. I don't, actually. After I, the I field, think I have to boy. go to work <laughs> now. Uh, I might feel pretty good to be out in the fields. You know, I, I, I'm free for the day, so... Mind if I lend you a hand? You come on, you don't have to convince me. <laughs> Like um, no, 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 thanks. I'm gonna walk Caleb out. Am I gonna Caleb? Yeah, that's great. Later. Sure, yeah, I'll stop by before my appointment with Dr. Michaels, okay? Oh, wow. do me a favor, give her my regards. Uh, tell her I said hi, and maybe I'll get a chance to stop by before I leave. Hey, I want you to take it easy today. You had a late night last night. Yeah, but it was worth it. You know, I, I had a great time. You know, I was, I was worried. You know, I didn't know how I'd feel. Just coming off a divorce, but I think it's the perfect thing to do. I felt just like getting on a horse after you've been thrown. <laughs> Great. Uh, I could tell you were really having a good time. I was. And, uh, well, I appreciate all your help. My help? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, spending as much time with you as I have, I, I've seen a lot of improvement in you, you know, with the therapy, and I think it's helped me to get over Julie. Well, I, I don't want you to make too much of no, anything all I'm, that all I... All I'm trying I, to say, I, Angel, is you've helped me to get over the anger. You've helped me to realize that it's the positive feelings you have about people that, well, that really matters. What a small world. I didn't know you and Michelle knew each other. Oh, yeah, we go way back. Uh, Carla, do you mind if Miss Shea and I have a private talk and I'll meet you in the cafeteria? Oh, sure. I'll see you there soon. Okay. And you be careful when you get back home, okay? Yeah, thanks, Carla. <laughs> see ya. Okay. Meg, I'm sure you must be shocked to see me here, especially in this condition. No, I knew you were pregnant, Julie. But everyone thinks you're in New York. What are you doing hiding out here? And how could you let Caleb go through a divorce while you're carrying his child? All right. You ease up. Okay, Meg? It's not Caleb's child. It's mine. As the world turns. This portion brought to you today by... CoverGirl Cosmetics, CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. Anybody home? Suddenly, CoverGirl changes the whole point of eyelining. Good morning. Introducing CoverGirl Liquid Pencil. Pencil in this color. A pencil. Now pencil soft color glides on with the ease of a pen. <laughs> yeah. Color that even blends just like a pencil. Fascinating. CoverGirl liquid pencil. Redefine your eyes with the look of a pencil. The ease of a pen. CoverGirl. Redefining beautiful. Wait, she's the one. That's our cover girl. Amazing eyes. Let's book her. Hey, Rachel, you forgot your eyes. Oh. <laughs> Nothing brings eyes to life like CoverGirl Thick Lash Mascara. The lash builder brush and super thickening formula magnify every lash to twice its size. For lashes so thick, they won't believe your eyes. Think thick. 
thick lash mascara because lashes twice the size make sensational eyes. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. That's right. I'm father. Meg, you can't tell Caleb, though. Uh, no, I, I, I don't understand any of this. You were so in love with my brother a, a year ago. All you could talk about was having his child. Well, you know how things are, Meg. Sometimes they change. And when things fell apart with Caleb and I, and, and, and I left the farm, Andy took me in. Does John know about this? No. No. And he can't know. Understand? You're asking me to keep a pretty loaded secret. Well, we need to talk more, but I don't want to keep Carla waiting. All right, well, listen, I'm going to take Julie home. She needs some rest. But you can come by later, and I'll explain to you why it's so important that nobody can know. Caleb Holden can't know about this. Julie, have you been completely honest with Andy? Uh, you talking about that night she's been with Holden? I know everything, okay? He understands. Well, then how can you be sure who the father is? DNA testing. It's mine. Uh-huh. Well, if that's true, then... then you know, huh? Thank goodness it's not Holden's. I didn't find it. Bill Harper found it somewhere among the Thanks, Courtney. Harper. Yeah. Well, look at this as our first wedding present. Oh, have you guys set the date yet? Mm. Uh, fall. 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 It's going to be so beautiful. I just know it. Well, I better get back to work. But are you coming back, you know, for the big opening? That sounds good. What do you think? I think it's going to be pretty hectic in the office with Ellie gone. Well... If you can make it, then give me a call and I'll get you a great table. Thanks, Courtney. Yeah, you're welcome. So what, do you want to have lunch with me or not? Well, you know I would love to, but I mean, the morning... <laughs> the morning's half over already. I want to go in and, and catch up on my work so I can finish early. I want to spend some time with, with Dad and Meg. Well, that sounds good, but I need somebody to eat lunch with, and I can't think of anyone that I would rather have lunch with than my girl. Well, yes, then. You missed Cal by about a half hour. Ah, that's all right. I'll catch up with him at the office. Are Josh and Meg still around? Uh, Meg went to see a friend, I think, but her husband's in the kitchen. Okay, let me go say hi. Well, hey, you know, I think it's time for me to take a little walk. It's a nice day for it. Uh, listen, Angel, but... before you do, uh, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's about, well, the first time that we knew each other. You know, if I had realized how special a person you are julie might not have ever entered my life thank you listen uh you know, everything's changed uh, i've completely cut my ties to julie for good dr Collins. Maybe we'll all have dinner before Megan. I have a waiter right? for you. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll see what we can set up. Great. All right. I didn't want to say anything inside, but I want to talk about Julie. Julie? Uh, what about Julie? Well, I know she was back in Oakdale for one thing, and Andy said that he was helping her out. He also told me that you know. Well, I've, I have... I just don't know what to say as far as Caleb's concerned. I, I don't know if I should tell him or... or... Well, I, I, if you're asking if you should say anything to him, don't. But they're divorced now, so what difference I can't. I can't go into details, but it's, it's for the best. Okay, but can you at least tell me what Andy meant about helping her out? Is she in some kind of trouble or...? Yeah, yeah, she is. Um, she doesn't have any money. And, um, so she is in trouble with that, and there's just a... Well, I thought you were late for work. Yeah, I am. I, I am, actually. Um, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thanks, Ivan. Well, I'm heading out to do some farm work. Guess being a TV star, you've given up that manual. <laughs> <laughs> 
What? What are you doing? I just forgot the thermos. I'll be right there. See you later. All right, right, and I'll uh, check with Connor about dinner. Hey, hey, are you all right? Sure, why wouldn't it be? Well, just the divorce and everything. You haven't said much about it since you've That's been That's not something I really want to talk about, but it's a pretty big relief. I'm surprised you feel that way. I mean, a few months ago, you jumped bail to go to Seattle and check on Julia. Yeah, well, things, things change. Yeah, I guess. Look, I'm sorry if I brought up a sore subject. I'll see you later, okay? No, Link, uh, you should know, uh, Julie's in New York. New York? Are you sure? Yeah. And she's pregnant with some other guy's kid. So you can see why I'm not so unhappy about the divorce. Diet soda. It changed the world of soft drinks. Pantyhose changed the way we dressed. Now, Oil of Olay Foaming Face Wash will change the way you wash your face forever. Get soap clean without soap, without drying. 100% soap free. It even removes eye makeup. Oil free, it rinses clean to leave skin refreshed, yet soft. Even a bit younger looking. Oil of Olay Foaming Face Wash. Changing the way you wash your face forever. At last they are here. New Butterfinger Ice Cream Bars. Mm. Oh. Hi, dudes. Crispity, crunchy the outside, creamy ice cream inside. Nobody better lay a finger <laughs> on my Butterfinger. You're the picture of good health. Eating foods the Surgeon General recommends. Foods rich in beta-carotene. One of the essential vitamins and minerals in Centrum. Centrum, more complete than any leading brand. From A to Zinc. Over 36 million women have had yeast infections. If you're one of them, I have great news. Now you can get the number one prescribed cure without a prescription. You may already know Monistat 7. For years, doctors prescribed it more than anything else. They trust Monistat because it's not just for symptoms, but a cure. If you think you have a yeast infection, see your doctor. If you know you do, get full prescription strength Monistat 7. I'm Harry Smith. Are you sick and tired of traffic jams? Tomorrow, take a peek into the future. Meet the designer of a car that flies right over traffic on CBS This Morning. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, you know, after 3 o'clock, all that romance and cuddling couples sort of got to me. Well, I'm sure that Franny is missing you as much as you're missing her. Oh, I only wish that were true. She's got company, you know. Where, in Puerto Rico? Yeah. Daryl Crawford. What is he doing down there? I <laughs> guess. <laughs> I called Franny's room when I got back from the wedding. I bet it was... It must have been 5 o'clock in the morning in Puerto Rico. Did you wake her up? No. She wasn't there. We'll call her back. What? Oh, come on, come on. No, I mean it. Call her right now. Because probably there's some simple explanation that has nothing to do with Daryl Crawford. Really, you'll feel much better if you talk to her. One more call out of a dozen can't hurt. Uh, yes, could you check me with Franny Hughes' room, please? Are you sure? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. She checked out this morning. All right. Are you ready? ready? And beautiful. Oh, and they cross the threshold. That's a very good trial run. Put me down. All right. There you go. Mm. I just have to practice these things before we get home. Oh, you do? Yeah. I always wanted to see Martha's Vineyard. It's so beautiful. And that's why I brought you here for the first leg of our honeymoon surprise. Yeah, so what's the second part of our surprise? Let's just enjoy the first part. Ah! Oh, yeah. No, come on, Kirk. What? Oh! Tell me, please. No, please. no, just no. Just one little clue. That won't work. My lips are sealed. Please? No. Oh. 
Well, don't stop. Oh. I'm gonna go get dressed. Let's go take a walk. Oh. Jameson, please. No, check those figures. One of those is wrong. Yeah, right I think you're right. Connor Jameson. So is that the social event of the season, or what? Kirk, you are about the last person I would expect to hear from this morning. Is everything okay? Okay. Things are a lot better than just okay. I'm telling you, this marriage stuff is the greatest, Connor. I recommend it. You should try it sometime. Yeah, with the right person. But look, I know you didn't call me to promote the institution of marriage. Well, no, you're absolutely right. I just wanted to let you know that Dick Weston is still in Oakdale, and he wants to talk to you. Snack it up, go on, pack it up. Oh, yeah, stack it up, go on, stack it up. China super strong, you bet. No, nothing stacks up. To China. No, nothing stacks up to China. It takes five of these paper plates to stack up to the molded strength of one China paper plate. China super strong, you bet. No, nothing stacks up to China. Hi, honey, I'm home. You know, the house smells so fresh, you'd never know we had pets. That's because I use Arm & Hammer Pet Fresh. There's one to deodorize carpets, another to deodorize the air. They both freshen naturally with baking soda. No wonder the whole house smells so fresh. One Pet Fresh for the carpet. Another Pet Fresh for the air. Natural freshness. From the baking soda experts. Honey, I think I'll take the cat for a walk. Rook. Frank and I do everything together. That's good. Why, when I was pregnant with Cody, we even gained weight together. That wasn't good. Then I went on the Ultra Slim Fast plan, and in four weeks, I lost 10 pounds. And Frank lost 15 pounds in six weeks. That was great. We each had a shake for breakfast, another for lunch, and then a sensible dinner. You know, honey, going on the Ultra Slim Fast plan together really is a great idea. Yeah, I'm uh, glad I thought of it. Uh, Ultra Slim Fast. Give us a week, we'll take off the weight. I on America. These sisters share a bond so special that one of the reasons the baby exists at all is to save her sister's life. We always wanted to have another child, and then what if that child can save a niece's life? And the... she is. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Will their bone marrow transplant succeed? Find out on the CBS Evening News tonight. Tune in till night for your favorite cartoon crazies, Wednesday. Okay, tell Ellie I said hello and have a wonderful honeymoon. We can expect a call from Dick Weston. You only made that very clear last night. I also spoke with Marcy earlier today, and she said that my proxy and annual report arrived at the New York apartment. Would you have yours sent? I got a P.O. box here in Oakdale. Good. We really can't risk having it sent to the Walsh mansion now, can we? Uh, I'll have Marcy forward it to your P.O. box, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Isn't it funny how this worked out? All those years, our stocks never got voted. And this year, we're here to vote in person, and we don't even need our proxies. Doesn't that worry you just a little bit? Absolutely not. I can tell it bothers you for some reason. What's the problem? Lake? Uh, partly. But it's also that Lucinda has been really good to me here. Uh, listen, don't get sentimental about Lucinda. She knows what she's got in you, and she's going to treat you right so she can squeeze as much out of you as she can. Hold it. You just missed Kirk. He called from his honeymoon hideaway. Did he say where he was? Didn't dare ask him. Uh, he wanted to tell us that Dick Weston's going to be in town one more day, and... Look, I'm not interested, Evan. These are the uh, Space Age Aeronautics contracts. Cinder wants you to become more familiar with them. Great, thanks. I'll get to these later. He's the only worry I have right now. Kirk said he was going to bring him in line, but I don't see how. Without his cooperation, we're not going to be able to clinch this deal. 
Good reading? Hi. It's... It's from a support group for survivors of incest. Dr. Michaels thought maybe I'd want to go to one of their meetings. Do you think you're ready for that? Uh, someday, maybe, but no, not yet. Not, not yet. I mean, I can talk to Ivan and Dr. Michaels for now. You can talk to me. You know that. Thank you. <laughs> I was uh, wondering what was troubling you this morning. Was it Josh? but I just feel so uncomfortable around him knowing what he did to Iva. I'm, I'm real sorry. No, no, I can't. No, no, no. There's no need to apologize. Really. You know, we all felt that way about him when we found out the truth. We did. But you have to remember that he's been through a lot of therapy. And he's been really a, a wonderful, wonderful husband to make. I guess if Iva could figure out some way to deal with it, I should be able to. I think you should talk to Iva about this. You know... For a long time, she really blamed herself. Oh, I know. I mean, I know because that's what I used to do. But not anymore because I know that's wrong. Oh, God, it made me so furious when Jay tried to blame me for what happened with Daddy. Your brother did that? Yes, yes, my brother Jay. He, he refuses to face the truth about our father, so he just finds it easier to think that it, it was all my fault. But, you know, a few months ago, I would have just accepted the blame, but not anymore because it's wrong. It's just wrong. Good, good, good boy. Am I glad to hear you talk like that? <laughs> it feels good to say it. I mean, it feels good to mean it. Good. Oh, I hope we don't have to clean up after too many weddings. I know, me too, but it looks great now. Oh, yeah. What about Andy, huh? If he's supposed to be here, we really could have used his help. Yeah, I know. I called his apartment. I called it twice, and he wasn't there. I got just this stupid machine. I bet he's up seeing Julie in Park Forest. Well, can't you call him up there? No, I don't dare, man. I went up to see Julie the other day. She chewed me out for it. Yeah. Well, you know what? You and Andy looked so happy at the wedding last night. I know, we were. I thought we were back on track. But where is he now? <laughs> Another reservation. Oh, please, no. <laughs> At Phil Yacht Club. Bianca, it's Andy. Is Courtney there? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Guess who? <laughs> Well, aren't you the sneaky one? You missed all the fun this morning. I'm sorry I wasn't there to help court. Julie was taken into the hospital last night. What happened? She fell and she almost went into premature labor. That's awful. Is she okay? She's okay. She's home now. Dr. Hobson called me early this morning and I, and I, I would have called you, but I didn't want to wake Alan. Yeah, I, I understand. I know you're doing all that you feel that you should be doing. Well, Dr. Hobson thinks I should help her get settled in here, but after I do that, I'm going to come straight to Oakdale, and I'll help you with the lunch crowd. Good. I can't wait to see you. And tell Julie, you know, that I'm glad that she and the baby are okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay, Julie, we've got to get our story straight. I have to convince Meg not to say anything to Caleb. This is the story. We did the DNA testing. Discovered that the baby yeah, was yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, I just wish that we had told her the same thing that we told Caleb, that it was the guy in New York. If we can't change her stories now, she gets suspicious. Let's uh, keep cool, all right? Hi, Meg. Hi. Hi, Julie. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Fine. Thank you. Hello? Hi, Julie. It's Iva. I'm just checking in. Are you all right? Yeah, uh, thanks, Iva. Iva? Iva knows about this? Is there someone there with you? It's Andy and Meg. We ran into her this morning at the hospital. The hospital? Julie, what is going on? Refreshing mint. Mmm, no wonder Polident has a minty mouthwash ingredient in every tablet. Other cleansers may get dentures clean, but Polident gets the minty fresh clean. Super strength, super minty, Polident. Butter, fillet. Thank you. Looks good, doesn't it? Ounce for ounce, Philly cream cheese has half the calories of butter or margarine. <laughs> 
next time, butter your bread with Philly instead. You know, I really enjoy visiting with my grandson, Timmy. Hi. We seem to talk about everything, school and sports and friends. I like being with Grandpa. I always have some of my Werther's original on hand, because Timmy likes them as much as I do. Yeah. So we sit here and enjoy our Werther's original and just talk. Best of all, I'm with somebody very special to me. I couldn't ask for any more than that. Me neither, Grandpa. <laughs> There are days when the sun is hotter, the air is thicker, days when the breezes don't blow, the dogs don't bark, days when your tongue feels like the bottom of your shoe, and you can't stand to watch some overpaid actress enjoy the thirst-quenching, tangy, citrus taste of squirt while you do all the talking. <laughs> lady, give me that squirt. Come on, lady. <sighs> give your thirst a squirt. Continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Sharon Gless takes on the cases no one will touch. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, period. She stands firm on what she believes. I am about to give the closing argument on my first death penalty case. And no one can match her commitment. You have a man's life in your hands today. An all new Trials of Rosie O'Neill, Sunday after murder, she wrote. This is CBS. The dead dentist and the masked gunman. Police say the dentist's wife planned his murder and that her son pulled the trigger on hard copy. Get the hard facts today at 5.30. Then join Charles Fishburne and Lisa LaFada for the 6 p.m. report right here on TV6. Oh, yuck. Wait till you see what he put in his mouth. I was feeling pain in my stomach. Don't miss the next People's Court. People's Court, this afternoon at 4, followed by Benson and Live at 5. That's all today on TV6. At Leggett, everyone's special, and everyone saves this Tuesday during the All Citizens Day Sale. Take 25% off the ticketed price of select merchandise. Get into the swim of things and save 25%. Walk away with 25% savings on all athletic shoes, even you, Grandma. Save 25% on knit tops and comfortable shorts for the entire family. Take 25% off all dresses. The All Citizens Day Sale has something for everyone. So save in style this Tuesday at Leggett. New Age for Seniors, it's a celebration of maturity. It's an exchange of ideas. It's an open line to talk about those things that are worrisome and exciting about advancing years. New Age for Seniors, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Richmond Today. TV6, honored for outstanding spot news reporting. Now part two of As the World Turns. Yeah, I took a little spill last night, and I, I blacked out, but I called an ambulance, and uh, I just went to the hospital. The baby's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, Dr. Hobson felt that the baby's father should be with me, so he called Andy this morning. Julie, are you saying this for Meg's benefit? Yeah. Tell Iva I will come by the hospital to see her on my way home. Okay. Meg says she's going to stop by the hospital later. All right, I'll handle it. Look, I, I'm going to try to see you later. Just please, please try to be more careful. Don't worry. I will be. Now, thanks for the call. Bye-bye. And how did Iva get involved in all of this? Well, she found out accidentally when Julie came to Oakdale to see me. Yes, and Iva promised that she wouldn't say anything to Caleb because she knows it would hurt him. Now, you understand that, don't you, Meg? What are you going to do when this baby is born? I offered to marry Julie, but... Yeah, but we didn't think that was such a great idea because we're not really in love anymore. Is that because you're still in love with my brother? Well, my feelings for Caleb don't really count now, do they? We're divorced. We're not connected anymore. Iva understands that. I hope you do, too. Who else is involved in this big conspiracy? Uh, well, Paul and Link and Margot know that Julie was in town for a while. And Lisa and Lucinda, they know that Andy is the father. Lucinda? Oh, whose bright idea was it to trust her with this? Nobody's. Lucinda found out somehow, and she tried to blow the whistle on us. Why would Lucinda care what happens to you and your baby? Lucinda tried to bribe Julie into telling Holden the baby was his. 
Great wedding, huh? That was an amazing wedding. I'm glad Caleb was able to have a good... I like broccoli. Maybe it was cauliflower I didn't like. Maybe one bite. I love broccoli. Cheese Whiz cheese spread changes everything. If you're not using new advanced cleaning formula Jet Dry Rinse Agent, you're gambling on getting clean dishes. Jet Dry rinses off invisible residues detergents leave behind. Try new advanced cleaning formula Jet Dry and bet on cleaner dishes. A report on women's health. January 1991, Gynolotrim and freed women of needing a prescription to cure recurrent vaginal yeast infections. In the time I took to get a prescription, with Gynolotrimin, my cure has begun. Gynecologists have prescribed Gynolotrimin to cure millions of women. It's available full prescription strength for early treatment, early cure. And that's healthier. Gynolotrimin is important news for women's health. Gynolotrimin. It brings you early treatment, early cure. <sighs> Am I late? I'm sorry if I'm late. No, no, no. You're always very punctual. Well, I try to be. I mean, because I know how busy you are. Am I imagining it, or are you a little nervous today? I'm a little nervous. I have a message for you. Josh Landry says that he will try to come by and see you while he's in town. Okay, good. it would be nice to see him again. I guess you know Josh is a former patient of mine. Yes, Iva told me. She also told me what he did to her when she was a little girl. Is that hard for you, given your situation? I don't like it when he touches me. Are you talking about something specific? Well, this morning at breakfast, he just asked me if I wanted some more coffee, and then he put his hand on my shoulder, and I just wanted to scream. okay. It reminded me of my father. Your father's never going to hurt you again, Angel. I know, but imagine having to face him. I don't know how Iva does it, having Josh around. She even talks to him. Well, it's not easy for her, but she manages, and I think it's probably because the situation with Josh is very different from the situation with your father. Josh committed his crime once, and he lived with crippling guilt for years before he finally got help. Your father abused you repeatedly and made excuses for it. He never admitted what he'd done. Until the day he died when he wrote those letters to Barkley and me. And Jay still doesn't believe me. It's not important what other people believe or don't believe. It really isn't. I've had patients who have had no support from any member of their family, not one. And still they have faced what happened to them, and that, that is the important thing. Well, I'm getting stronger. I know I am, because when I wake up in the morning, I'm not so scared. Beginning to taste your independence. <clears throat> I think I'll be moving out of the Snyder farm pretty soon. Well, they've been wonderful to me, but I think it's time for me to try to make a life of my own now. This is a big step. But it's healthier, isn't it? Not just for me, but... For whom? For Caleb. He's so attentive to me. He, he's so nice. He tries to help me all the time, and I appreciate it, but I'm really scared that some of the feelings that he used to have for me are coming back now that he's divorced his wife. Why does this frighten you? It's not right. It's not right for him. He's just, he's gotten confused. Well, he did say, didn't he, that he'd always been attracted to you. That is not a reason for either one of us to think that we might have a future together. I mean, Holden said the same thing. And he... 
He admitted he'd never really loved me. I'm not ready for a relationship! No. No, not now. But you will be one day. And in the meantime, you're a lovely young woman, Angel, and men are going to be attracted to you. And leaving the farm is not going to change that. Cal tells me you've hired a father and son team to help out. Yes, the Hutchinsons. They're starting work next week. I wish they were here now. You've made enough food to feed an army. Oh, well, I thought Meg would be back for lunch. And also, Angel's going to be hungry when she gets home from therapy. Angel doesn't like me very much, does she? No, she's just a little shy, that's all. Well, I know it's more than that. It's about me and Iva, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, I suppose I can't blame her. Yeah, you know, I had a talk with her today. I told her what a wonderful person you are. And what a wonderful, wonderful husband you are to make. And, and, and how her feelings are going to change when she gets to know you, just as ours have. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You have no idea how good that feels to hear. Well, you and Iva seem to be getting along real well, Miss Tripp. It's never going to be easy for Iva. Never. Well, Dr. Michael's really helped her a lot. Just as she's helping Angel right now. Yeah, you know, there's been an incredible change in Angel lately. A couple of months ago, she was just a scared little kid. And now she's a young woman. She's filled with confidence. It's good to see. nice letter from Emily. Although she had very little to say about herself or how she's doing now. Well, she's not very open with me either. You know what I wish? I wish David would invite her to Atlanta. She's so fond of him and I think it would be good for her to be with family. And she won't come back here because of Paul. Might be good for David too. Might get him out of the lab. <laughs> Hello, Susan. Ellen, are you ready for our uh, lunch out of Yacht Club? I wouldn't miss opening day. Courtney would never forgive me. Of course. I'm going to talk to David. We'll work something out. Thank you. Bye, Susan. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Have you had lunch? Hmm? Would you like to have lunch at the Yacht Club? I'll treat. That's really nice of you. Thanks. But I'm afraid I'm not in much company today. <laughs> I haven't heard from Franny. Excuse me. Yeah. Iva, can we talk for a minute? Sure. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, John. Iva, I'm getting some mixed signals, and I thought you might be able to help me out. Well, I'll try. Well, after you left this morning, Caleb told me that Julie is pregnant with some guy's baby and living in New York. Now, which is it? Is she in New York, or is she someplace around here? Something shocking is going on at Sears. People are leaving the store in droves with brand name electronics. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. It's Electro Days. Electro Days. Sir, how much was that LXI camcorder with high speed shutter, power, zoom, and two extra lenses? $799.99. Wow, that is shocking. Two weeks of Electro Days, only at Sears Brand Central. Now there's a light at the end of your freezer. It's got less fat and no sugar. It's new Nestle Crunch Light. And it's got the scrunchest taste of Nestle Crunch ice cream. Crunch Light, it scrunches when it crunches. That's why I love Nestle Crunch Light. Not everyone uses the number one antibacterial deodorant soap. Aren't you glad you use Dial? Driver, do you have a handle for this window? Welcome to Surfettes and my family, the Whittings and singing our commercial for Surf Detergent. It's so easy, working hard all day. They get dirty, they get clay. They don't go smell real bad. Surf saves the day. It removes dirt and odor. No clothes smell, please be If you're right about Caleb's feelings, I think you should be pleased. Why? 
because he knows everything that happened to you he knows the whole story and it doesn't stop him from finding you very appealing but i can't i mean i don't i don't know how i feel about any of this okay all i'm trying to say is don't run from the farm just because of caleb i think i've learned that i can't run away from my problems and i i i, I feel that it would be good for it would be good for me to have a place on my own, it would be good for Holden and Lily, too. The whole, well, forget Holden and Lily. I mean, if you're going to make a decision like this, it has to be for you. Okay, okay. For me. All right, for me. Well, for me, I think I... I, all right, I want to be closer to Stephen and Barkley. They're my brothers. They're my family. But I don't know how I'm going to leave the Snyders. They've been so... I mean, they are my family, too. I love them all so much. Chicago is not that far away. Caleb's teaching me how to drive. <laughs> you should see me behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> but I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm learning. And I could get a car of my own, you're right. I, I could get a car of my own, I could drive. Sure. You'll be wanting to do a lot of things like that, a lot of things that bring you independent. It was I independence. It was your father who told you these things were out of your reach, and he only did it so he could keep control over you. I guess if I move to Chicago, I'll have to find another therapist. I mean, a therapist there. Yeah. You could recommend somebody. Sure. I had to go through therapy myself when I became a therapist. So why don't I give you the name of the woman who treated me? She's excellent. Thank you. A lot of big changes for you, Angel. How do you feel? I'm scared. But that's natural, isn't it? I hope you know how proud I am of you. It, it, my mother has the weirdest priorities, all right? She never would have fixed up the Stratford Arms if I hadn't been part owner in Lakeview Tower, she wouldn't have done it. I think you better get used to it. She's a very competitive lady. Yeah. Especially with you. Yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't bother me. I just, I just don't understand it. Hey. Hi. 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 We saved you a table. Great. Thank Great you. Table. Thank you. Table. Thank you. Oh, oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. How are you, Bianca? Oh, good. Welcome to our grand opening. Wow. <laughs> Have you recovered from the wedding? I hear the Anderson oh. wedding was quite an event. It was, it was fabulous. I've never seen anything like that in months. <laughs> I'll show you. Now remember, when Link shows up, I want you to find some reason to just disappear, all right? Okay, sis. Listen, don't say that I didn't warn you. No, he's going to understand once he knows the whole story. I think it's too risky to tell him. You just remember that he works with Lily, all right? Hi. Hi. Sexy outfit. Thank you. <laughs> do you guys have reservations? No, do we need them? Um, Link Lafferty's going to be joining us in a couple of minutes, too. Oh, it's okay. I have connections here. Follow me. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, well, listen, Lucinda hasn't bought the yacht club since Kirk left, has she? Not that I know of. Well, it's just all these Wall Street executives all in one place. It sort of boggles the mind. <laughs> hmm. Well, listen, speaking of Walsh, I got my proxy in the mail today. Would you vote it at the Walsh stockholders meeting for me? I think that you should vote it. I think you should come to the meeting yourself. Oh, Courtney, look who's here. He does. <laughs> Well, Link, Julie was in Oakdale. She stopped here looking for help, but she's in New York now with the father of her baby. 
Lisa and I were sending her a little money to help out. Hi. Hi. Hey, listen. Uh, there's something I neglected to mention to you, and that is that it's Tom and Margot's anniversary coming up here, and I thought I might throw a little surprise party for them at the penthouse. And I was wondering if you'd like to help me plan it. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, I'd good. love to. Is this a little housewarming party for you? Oh, well, I guess there's some of that in there. We go over the plans at dinner, if you like. Huh? I, I can't. I'm going to meet that friend of mine out of town. Is this a male friend you're meeting? No. Ida? Hmm? Oh, hi, hi, John. Hi, May. It was nice to see you last night. I bet your mother's thrilled that you're back, too. I'm enjoying it, too. Yeah. Well, I guess the two of you want to visit. I'll talk to you later. How's Julie? She's resting. I'm in shock. I, uh, I can't believe that you would go along with all this lying. It's for Caleb's sake. How do you justify that? His life with Julie is over. So what if he thinks the father is some man in New York? I mean, if, if he finds out that Andy's the father, it's only going to hurt him more. I think he has the right to no, know. No, he doesn't have the right to know. This is something that's between Andy and Julie. A and what about John, if she's about to have his grandchild? What about John? He, he was never a big fan of Julie's. If he finds out, he will come down hard on the both of them. She does not need this right now. All you do is talk about honesty. How can you look Caleb in the eye and keep this from him? Because, Meg, because it is for the best. Believe me. Well, I disagree. And now that I know this little secret, I don't feel obligated to keep it. And when I see Caleb, I just may put an end to it by telling him the truth. As Dr. McDermott, you put the call through here, please. Franny? Where are you? I have been so worried about you. I really feel like a louse. I missed the whole cleanup and everything. Well, you can make it up to me by taking me for a moonlight swim later. Or do you have to see Julie? No, I don't. Good. I don't. Good. But we had kind of a problem at the hospital. We ran into Meg Snyder. Oh, no. So what did you tell? What version of the story? I said I was the father. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. For you. Thank you. I see your brother's in the pool. Don't worry, he's not going to be joining us. Good. <laughs> hey, so what was this mysterious little errand you had to run? Oh, nothing, nothing too important. Hold on, I can't take the whole day off from work just to go to the Wall stockholders meeting. I really think you should vote your own stock. <laughs> You're almost my husband now. I. I trust you to make the right decision. Ellen, there's a long distance phone call for you. That is David. No, uh, Dr. Logan. Dr. Logan, that's yeah. David's superior. Hello, Dr. Logan. Oh, I'm glad I finally tracked you down, Mrs. Stewart. Is everything all right? I hate to be the one to tell you this, especially over the telephone. Your husband suffered a massive coronary. Oh, good Lord, no. How is he? Dr. Logan, please, tell me. Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, 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 boy. How are you feeling? My muscles are going to ache so no. bad tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I got to tell you, it felt pretty good to be out there in the field. Did you eat lunch yet? Yeah, yeah, we just finished. Oh. How's Carla? Um, oh, she's, um, she's, she's doing okay. She's, yeah. she's enjoying it. Yeah, you spend all that time together? No, um, no, traffic was really awful, and I went to visit Iva at the hospital. <laughs> you okay? No. I want to get out of these clothes, get into a swimsuit, and get into the pond. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Call me, I'll join it. Okay. All right. Back. 
a night for Excedrin PM. This was no day to be me. It's my life! Someone had to tell you. Termites. They said those spouses so. So I can't sleep and my head aches. You want more than just a pain reliever. You want Excedrin PM. Strong aspirin-free headache medicine plus a gentle second ingredient to help you sleep through the night for a fresh start tomorrow. Excedrin PM. Headache medicine. And it helps you sleep. I had to go real bad. I forgot to lift the lid. I missed. I don't know who did it there. He did it! No matter how it happened, Lysol bathroom touch-ups can clean it and disinfect it. Just wet and wipe. Lysol bathroom touch-ups for easy cleanups. It must have been Dad. Nasty odors haunting your carpet? Try Love My Carpet Floral Essence. It gets rid of odors and plants the scent of living, blooming flowers, freshening your entire home. A definite improvement. Try Love My Carpet Floral Essence and make every room bloom. This can't be my new apartment. Good thing I brought Lysol Pine Action. They've made it better. Now it cleans with hospital-type disinfection, the strongest you can buy. Now it's starting to feel like home. Improved Lysol Pine Action, a more powerful pine. Tonight, a child drowns. There was no pulse, oh there was God. no breathing, absolutely nothing whatsoever. From beyond the brink of death, an astounding rescue 911. Have you ever risked everything for a thrill? It's never been like this for me before. Emmy Award winner Sharon Gless. I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. Scott Glenn. You don't know what trouble is. She wanted a little excitement. She got a lot more. Inspired by actual events. Outside Woman, Friday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light. Next on most of these CBS stations. Later on TV6, join Cheryl Miller and Roger Harvey for continuing news coverage on Live at 5. Now stay tuned for The Guiding Light right here on TV6, Virginia's first choice. Join us tomorrow for As the World Turns. This is CBS.